a full and intense aroma, very smoky, phenolic. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we taste the old 15 year old Lafroic. Yesterday I tasted the 200 years anniversary bottle of Lafroic where you see the bottle on the left hand side from your side of the screen and uh, we have this uh, wonderful old bottle which is today a collector's item and costs around 250 euros, pounds, dollars, whatever. Uh, both bottles are 15 years old, both, both bottles have 43% ABV. Well, and the 15 year old was filled the last time in 2007 or 8, I think. Um, There are still some bottles available through the collectors, um, but this bottle is really gone and uh, the price is rising from year to year. So if you are, are in the possession of such a bottle, you have to decide if you taste this bottle or if you sell this bottle and, well, get several new bottles for it. Um, the 15 year old expression of Lafroy is something to savor with friends if you are feeling generous. Yes, it's quite expensive. Mild soft isla peat smoke greets you when you first open the bottle, intermixed with a pleasantly sweet aroma like new hay. The first taste is an oak sweetness, the influence of 15 years in the barrel. Barrel, not cask, that means it shall be American oak followed by warm peat smoke top notes. What's a top note? Well, I think the top note is, well, the nose, the lighter aromas, and the rest is on the tongue, is lower. Flavors reminiscent of fresh nutmeg and toasted almonds may follow, may follow, not for all, for some, for the ones with fantasy, mm. Just a faint hint of the sea can be detected, testimo testimony to maturation next to the Atlantic Ocean at Lafroig. Well, the Lafroig distillery lies wonderfully situated at the south coast of the remote island of Isla, which is part of the Inner Hebrides. The prolonged mellow finish will ensure the experience is ful fulfilling and unforgettable. Made in tiny quantities, Several hundred thousand bottles all around the world over tens of years. Lafroig, 15 year old, is esteemed and savored around the world by a fortunate few. Today, that's right. Enjoy neat or with a splash of soft water. With caramel colored. So here we go. If you compare both whiskies, then the old one is a little darker than the new one. I'm not quite sure if this is, well, from the coloring. Um, typically, they adjust the different colors from the batches they fill with a little add addition of caramel. Um, well, we will see. The new one is a little bit lighter. Typically, uh, the green bottle of Lafroig does not show you how dark the whiskey really is and I think this is a good thing. So they do not have to color its whiskey because the decision of buying a whiskey from the shelf is not disturbed by the color of the whiskey because the bottle is green. <sighs> a full and intense aroma, very smoky, phenolic, but not that strong and intense like the 10 year old or a quarter cask. This is more mature and the strong and sharp phenolic aromas 
have already converted into more complex, smoky flavors. There is a faint note of, of fruitiness, a little caramel, a little vanilla, but very complex. All those aromas balance well together. If I put my nose into this glass, it's lighter. There is a little more light vanilla, not that strong oakiness. The fruitiness is coming up, yeah? And this is a little, they are quite comparable, to be honest. This is as if they have a tenth of sherry cask matured whiskey in it. Perhaps therefore the whiskey is a little darker. There's more dark fruitiness and here you have more light fruitiness, more grapefruit, more lemon and this light vanilla note. And here it's a little deeper, a little stronger. Mm -hmm. A little bit more body, a little bit more oakiness sweetness and also this salt saltiness coming up as if you have rested uh, five to ten minutes at the seashore and then you have this light saltiness on your lips. The aftertaste a little stronger than the new 15 years old 200 years where at the video here I haven't did I show that video already no So both are 95% together. So if you have no chance to compare both, they're the same. The new one is a little lighter, a little bit more vanilla, a little less spiciness from the oak. This one is a little more, it's fuller. It's more oak and probably a tenth sherry oak. No idea if they have sherry in it at all. It's always the question, is a new whiskey better than an old one? The good old times where everything was worse, where the quality assurance wasn't that high, that strict as it is today, where the cats caught their mice on the malt malting floors and after the second mouth they were fed up and the other mouse lay <laughs> in the barley rotting. Oh. Today everything is more constant, more precise, but in former times they were able to select the casks because only half of the casks were used for, for malt whiskey or even less. And today two thirds or even more are used for single malt. So you have to take most of the casks for bottling as single casks, uh, as malt whiskies. Some as single casks, but Will the average quality be better today than it was in former times? Well, <laughs> it's a lot of belief in this argumentation. The ones with the 
with a strong feeling about history and people who are not that happy in the fast-moving world of today, they typically say, well, the old ones have to be better. And if you make up your mind and say the old ones have to be better, they will be better. So there's a lot of placebo effect in tasting these bottles. And the ones who are looking at the newest stuff, oh, I do have to have the very new bottle, of course. They will find the newest one better than the old ones. So it's, it's a kind of belief. Which one do I feel is better? Mm -hmm. So this one is a 5% better than the new one. But that's my personal feeling. And I'm a person who, who looks after the new. I'm an engineer. I think production is getting better from day to day. Yeah, thank you for watching. There's more to come. Feel free to share this video with your friends and stay tuned.